I've always wanted to be a police officer. Even as a child, I wanted to be in you know, law enforcement. It's not what you expect at all. You definitely have to have a passion for helping people in order to work in the field. It's something that's, that's down inside your heart. It has to be. I get to wake up in the morning and have no idea what it's going to be, but um, I get to make a difference in someone's life every day. You know, you have this idea, this uh, perception of it for movies and Hollywood. I remember watching cops and TV shows and stuff like that. And it's, uh, it's not that. It's overwhelming, definitely. Much more than what you would read in a book. Needless to say, uh, I wanted to make this more my life. To me, a good call is when you pull on scene and you obviously have somebody who needs your help and you're able to help them. When they confide in me and they, they talk to me and they trust me with information or just the talk. On those days when you can save a child and you get them to the hospital where they can get more definitive care, those are always a win. You know, we always love those days. We got there in his one car, the flash was on, Dad turns around and comes out and he's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm like, what, what, what? He's like, she's having a baby. I'm like, she's having a baby. Remain calm, keep your coolness about you. Here I am, like a 23-year-old kid. The thought of having to deliver a child is unfathomable to me. Never let them see you sweat. <laughs> you get to be a part of like such a happy moment for someone. And I was there right in the middle of it. And that was great. In my job, I see a lot of bad things. Suicides are always hard to go on. There's mail on the front steps from weeks before, and you're just kind of, you think the worst. At that point, you just kind of know what has happened already. It's sad that that hope can diminish that quickly in people. We were sent out to a gunshot victim, self-inflicted as an elderly man. Some, some of them is harder than others. Some calls, some scenes are harder, than, especially when they involve kids, small kids. Six-year-old child got ran over by a car and killed, actually. I was friends with the family. And there was nothing we could do. He was already gone. Yeah, it was hard. A lot of folks will ask us, how do you guys deal with that? Our answer is, uh, we, you know, we deal with it as a family. Everybody at my police department, I mean, everybody's my brother and sister. We all depend on each other, and there's nothing like having that feeling of being around your work family. Because <laughs> you're still human. We sit down in the roll call room, and you just say what you're thinking and what you're feeling. And We talk about it at the fire hall. We've got a great bunch of captains and chiefs that they're concerned about our well-being, about our mental health. And everybody has their own times where everybody has to lean on somebody else at a certain point. I think that's what makes us just a, a lot stronger. At the drop of a hat, I would do anything for a brother or sister of mine in need. The reality of it is, is that you're a public servant. It's hard to watch families fall apart uh, in front of us, but we have to keep it together. You have to be able to separate your emotions, but also have emotions at the same time. An officer has to be a lot of things. Uh, they have to be a psychologist, a father, marriage counselor, um, a friend. The tough part about it is deciding what hat to put on. And we're there for them, always, 24-7, 365 days a year, rain, sleet, snow, or shine, we're there, always. I think to wear the uniform means to be a part of something bigger than yourself. I think we're passionate about the uniform because we're passionate about the people that are in that uniform. It symbolizes what the men and women of law enforcement and firefighters, EMTs, what they've committed to do. We truly want to make the best possible uniform that can be made. We can't create a better version of a uniform without the law enforcement officer or the fireman. It's understanding who they are, understanding the job that they do, Seeing that, we're thinking, how in the world can we make it better? Temperature regulation, moisture wicking, moisture transport. And see how they're either excited or intrigued or what they would change and why they would change it and what they would use this pocket for. They're 
presence within that process is always going to be the pivotal moment of whether or not that product should be brought out. And I can take that information and turn it into an awesome uniform. All of those things go into making them more comfortable and hopefully aiding and helping them do their job better. I remember the first time I put on my uniform, it was a very proud moment. Not just the pride and not just the honor, it was I was there to represent and protect. It felt pretty good. It did. I mean, because you went through a lot. You know, I worked hard to be where I'm at, and it makes me proud to be able to put it on every day. I think to wear the uniform that so many people have worn before me and will continue to wear after me, and I'm just a small link in that chain. That's something that drives us all deep down, is that this is their everyday life. Just to be a part of this, just to be a part of it just a little bit, is so fulfilling. It makes you want to come back again, to pursue it in a relentless way and do more. We owe that to them.